Hi, everybody. It's crazy, Luke. Happy Easter, and do I have a crazy deal just for you? Yes, I do. Oh, my gosh. You're never going to believe it. It's a crazy deal. It's a wacky deal. It's a crazy, wacky, wacky, crazy, crazy, wacky, wacky deal. <gasps> but should I tell you? I don't know if I should tell you. Oh, it's a great deal though. When you hear about it, you're gonna go crazy for this deal. You're gonna go crazy for this deal. You're not gonna believe it. Oh, but I tell you what, I'm gonna tell you about it. But let me tell you, it is a limited time deal. Limited time? Who am I kidding? This deal is good today, tomorrow, the next day, and forever, to infinity and beyond. Oh, it's a great deal. See, God, this is sponsored by God. That's right, the G-O-double-D, baby. He loves you so much, he sent his son Jesus into the world. You ever seen Where's Waldo? <gasps> can you find Jesus? Oh, yes, you can, and let me tell you what we remember about today. <gasps> Jesus is risen. Yes, he is. And God loved us so much that he sent his son into the world to sacrifice himself on the cross and to rise from the dead and to tell us that there is life after death. What a great deal! Oh, I'm going crazy! And all you got to do to get this deal, all you got to do to get this deal, oh, all you got to do is accept Jesus' love in your heart. And know that he did it for you, and you, and you, and you, you, and me, and everybody. He did it for everybody. But I tell you, what, what is that? What is that? G-O-double-D wants to give you something else. Oh, I can't believe it. Here's what he's going to give you. All right? Here's what he's going to give you. If you act now, you will be for give in. Woo! I can't believe it. Oh, oh my goodness. Just act now and accept that loving joy of Jesus in your heart. <sighs> and sing. Okay, guys. <laughs> you think of some crazy things to do when you're all cooped up under quarantine, okay? But I hope you had a little fun with that. I want everybody to have a little fun with that. What I really want to do here is I want to talk about today. I miss you guys a lot. I miss being together, celebrating and worship together, the beautiful music, all the flowers, all the pretty dresses and cute suits and putting out thousands and thousands of eggs. But those are just things, okay? What I have is the love of all of you in my heart. And I will always have that with me. Now, the story that we have today on Easter, okay? We've just had Jesus go into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, have a dinner with his best friends, the last dinner. And they cleaned each other, kind of said their goodbyes, went to the garden, got arrested. They beat him. They hurt Jesus. They put him on a cross. He died and he was in the tomb. And today what we have is the disciples a little afraid. They're a little afraid because they think they've lost their best friend. Like we may feel like we've lost each other forever, but this is just a short little amount of time. Let me tell you, we're gonna be in quarantine for a little while, and the disciples didn't know this. They were only gonna be without Jesus for a little while. So this story on Easter is the empty tomb. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun. The women didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salem and Joanna, carried the spices to rub 
on the body of Jesus. They have a job to do. Well, when the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Oh no, they had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening to the cave. How would they move it? Well, the women kept going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been rolled away. Now they peeked inside. Oh, it was dark in there. It was kind of cold in there. Drop, drop. kind of like today, it was wet in there. What? It was empty in there. Jesus was gone. They were afraid. An angel appeared in sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corner of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus is in here. He is risen. Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said, go tell the disciples. And the women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. The joy they must have felt knowing that Jesus, their friend, that they were afraid <laughs> they had lost, had risen from the dead. No one had done that before. How amazing they must have felt. And they feared they would never have that again. But they did. And I think some of us here, as we go a little crazy, as you saw from the beginning of the video with me, we're going a little crazy because we have this thing called, we call it FOMO, okay? FOMO, fear of missing out. We have this fear that by being quarantined and all cooped up, we're missing out on things. But we are just missing out on things. Like we're not going to get to have our big Easter egg hunt today. And it makes me sad. I love throwing out thousands of eggs and watching everybody fill up their baskets. But the one thing we're never going to be without is Jesus' love. And by accepting that, we're always going to have eternal life. Now, I'm going to miss you guys. You know, I normally put my gargantuan egg out there. And let me tell you, we're not getting together today. Boy, I wish we were. But we'll get together soon. And when we do, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, this big old egg. When we do, we'll have lots of fun together. We'll share love together. And we will celebrate for this, tomorrow, and every day is the day the Lord has made. I love you. Happy Easter. Have a great time feeling the joy of Jesus in your hearts. Hallelujah.